So today we're going to be talking about ER and IR verbs. ER and IR verbs are verbs that end with ER and IR, and so we're learning about how to conjugate those. So as we know, we have verbs that end with AR, ER, or IR, and we've already learned how to do AR conjugations. So today we're going to be learning about ER and IR verb conjugations, which fortunately for us are practically the same. So starting with a verb that ends with ER, like the verb leer, we know that in Spanish that these verbs are made up of two parts. We have the root and we have the ending. What changes in regular ER and IR verbs is only the ending, so the root stays the same. So I'm doing a conjugation chart for leer. I'm going to start everything with le. Then I'm just going to go through and make sure that I have the correct inflectional ending. So for myself, yo, it's leo. For tu, it's les. For él, it's le, and for nosotros, it's leemos, and for ellos, it's leen. Notice what I have. I have o, es, e, emos, en. And depending on who's my subject, I change the verb to match that subject. That's what a conjugation is, really. Okay, let's pick an IR verb. So, for example, if I have the verb escribir, I know that the division is between Escribe and e. This is my root and this is my ending. So again, I'm going to start with uh, where am I at? I'm going to start with my root for each conjugation. All right, escribe for everything. However, what changes is my uh, inflectional ending. So yo escribo. I'm writing. Tu escribes, you write. El escribe, he or she writes. Nosotros escribimos. El ellos escriben. I want you to notice that the only difference among these conjugations occurs between the nosotros form. So it's still O, S, A, hemos, imos. And so the only difference is in the nosotros form. That's what makes ER and IR verbs very easy for teachers because we like to put them together. So the only big difference is that nosotros form. So let's see some more practice. All right? So just to confirm what we have here, we know that the unique difference is in the nosotros form. All we have to do is add a root. So if I have another verb, for example, that's ER, like the verb um, creer, to believe. All I do is find the root and add it to these endings. And if I have another IR verb, like difundi, which means to spread, right? All I'm going to do is take the root and add it to the beginning. My only thing I have to be careful of is this emos. It's difundimos, not difundemos. Right? So that's essentially what we're doing here. All right, so let's practice just a little bit more so I know we're all on the same page. What happens if tu and comer? What am I going to do? I'm going to take off the inflectional ending and add es. Comes. Escribir. I'm going to find my root. Take off the inflectional ending, and I'm going to add escribo, o. What happens with compartir, which means to share, again, take off my ending, and I'm going to add imos, compartimos. <laughs> nosotros leer, we already practiced, but what am I going to do? I'm going to block my ER, add emos, nosotros leemos. Vivir, same thing, ustedes, it's third person plural subject, take off IR, add bien, viven. All right, usted cree. Notice the difference between these two, ustedes plural and usted singular. So I take off ER and I add E, cree. So that in a nutshell is what we're learning. So let's go ahead and I'm going to do some targeted practice. Again, just to make sure that we're all on the same page. Yeah. So for extended practice, if this is something you really want to work on, I would recommend you to do all of these. For the purposes of today, we're only going to do a few of them. I think we're going to do one through four, just to make sure that we're all on the same page. 
For correr, I'm just taking off this ER and I'm adding an O. So my final form will be yo corro, I run, right? For abrir, I take off the IR, I add emos because it's an IR verb, not emos, and I'm gonna say nosotros abrimos. We open. For tu, I'm gonna take off ER and add ES, so tu bebes, you drink. And then for comer, I take off ER, it's ella third person, so I'm gonna put a, ella come, she eats. And that, my friends, is pretty much how to do ERIR verbs. Buena suerte!